Today we're going to talk about rigging. All rigging equipment must be inspected by a competent person daily and before each use. All damage rigging must be destroyed or removed from the job site. If three or more broken wires are found within one lay, then the rope's defective. Riggers shall have a rigging chart available that shows safe working load capacities of rigging that they are going to use. Now we have charts that we're going to provide for you that you can have a look at. They're available uh, in the safety policy and procedure manual. So you can find them there. We have them elsewhere as well. Now because nylon web sling capacities can vary by manufacturer, the riggers must use the charts attached to the slings that they're using. Uh, shakeout hooks may be used for shaking out individual beams only. All other loads handled with spreaders uh, need to be rigged with bell hooks equipped with latches. Uh, loads must be rigged with chokers, nylon straps, or hoisting grade chains of adequate size and strength. Uh, nine wire banding or similar materials are not good or not allowed for uh, hoisting loads. Uh, all loads that are passing over structures or areas occupied by employees uh, need to be choked or securely attached by shackles or other positive means to prevent accidental displacement of the load. Uh, no loads may be rigged in a basket uh, if they're passing overhead. All riggers and signal personnel uh, must be certified and carry their rigger certification card while they're performing work. Uh, that's where we're going to stop for the minute. I'm going to let you have a look at the charts and uh, then we're going to proceed uh, in our discussion of our safety policies and procedures after that.